What is good, guys? It's your boy Stock J here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick technical analysis of AMC stock. I'm going to talk about where AMC is going and where I see AMC heading for tomorrow and the upcoming future based off technical analysis. I'm also going to talk about some dark pool data, the uh, short interest, and how many shares need to be bought back by the hedge funds given the short interest as of right now. Now, obviously, guys, you know technical analysis isn't perfect because AMC tends to be manipulated like crazy. There tends to be crazy things that happen from the dark pools and the back end. But if anything, technical analysis does have credibility in it, and sometimes it can predict the future. Now, it can promise what's going to happen as AMC is one of the most manipulated stocks of all time. But I still love to give my technical analysis details. I love to give my predictions because the apes want it the audiences love it and it's what you guys want so i'm going to do it for your, you guys so with that said and done guys before i get started i have to mention two quick things first if i'm not a financial legal or taxation expert so do not take this as financial legal or taxation advice also if you can please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me but benefits the entire ape community as a whole it helps more people learn about amc and become a lot more convicted a lot more confident in their conviction and helps the entire community so with that said and done i'm going to get on with the technical analysis as you can see amc did have a rundown and did test the 30 $32 level of support before it ran up to the $34 level of resistance. And surprisingly, guys, and I didn't expect this to happen, but it's still a big sign. AMC did break the $34 level of resistance at that given point. This used to be a level of support, but now it has become more of a level of resistance because AMC was fighting to break it. And if you look over the past month, AMC failed to break the $34 level of resistance multiple, multiple times. So Looking at the technical analysis chart over the past month, if you look at where it was in the very beginning of August, it started off on a downward trend. It tested the $28 level of support. It did climb up to the 30, then it climbed up to the 30, uh, around the 33 before it closed on last Friday. Then this Friday, it closed at $34.41, breaking the $34 level of support. And if anything, guys, that's a good, good sign that AMC is stair-stepping its way upwards. However, I cannot promise that's going to explode tomorrow or next week because of all the dark pool activity. But I can tell you that based off the technical analysis, there's a lot more momentum that's building up and a lot more people are buying the shares. So looking at the volume on Friday was 55 million, where the average volume was 74 million. And this is a good sign because the average volume has been going up overall. That makes me a little bit more bullish. And I do see potential big moves up for Monday, Tuesday, and possibly Wednesday. But Thursday and Friday tend to be down days. So I do expect many, many attacks. Like I said before in one of my previous videos, on Friday, 65% of the trades happened on the dark pools. We already know that I go about this. I talk about this in every single one of my videos. But what I wanted to focus on is the short interest of AMC, how much it's being shorted relative to the confirmed float. Now, I know there are synthetic shares. So this number is actually probably probably a lot higher than what it actually is reported as but this is the data we are given and we're just going to go with this data so i want you guys to look at something very very interesting if you look at ortex right over here this tiny number right here i'm sorry i can't make it bigger but the short interest for gamestop is 10.59 percent now i also believe in gme i think gme is cool but remember 10 percent of gme is shorted right now and despite about 15 percent of it being shorted um, it did manage to have a big, big, big run up at its time when there was a gamma squeeze. Now, AMC, 17% of it is being shorted. That's almost twice the short interest as GameStop. So for those of you who don't know what that means, I'm going to go over it very, very simply. If 17.86% is the short interest, at least that was as of Friday, that was the last trading day. So I'm going to go with that data. And it has been higher. It has been around the 19% range, but because on Friday it was 17.86%, that means 17.86% of AMC is short of the confirmed float. So the confirmed float is about eight, uh, 513 million shares. So 17.86% uh, of 513 million is equivalent to 91 million shares. You heard that properly. 91 million shares of AMC will eventually have to be brought back. The hedge funds have to buy this many shares back. So what that basically means, guys, is when we buy AMC, we hold AMC, and we watch movies at AMC, AMC's fundamentals are going to get better. Obviously, they're going to kill more earnings reports in the future. I really believe that, especially because of many, many catalysts, such as them accepting Bitcoin and many other things, and that they could possibly do a GME collab, and that's going to be absolutely massive. But look, 
as AMC improves, as the apes keep buying and holding their shares, the stock price is going to go up. There's going to be a very, very small demand. I mean, a really, really huge demand, but a very, very small supply. So as demand is high, supply is low, price goes up. It's simple economics. Look at the amount of shares available to borrow at the given moment. There are not shares available to borrow as of right now, but this is actually showing um, because it's not a trading day. So of course, no shares are available to borrow. The last time I checked this, it said 15,000 shares were available and it's going down. So if anything, there are less than 1 million shares or less than 0.2% uh, of AMC has been available to be loaned out, which means the large majority of shares of AMC are actually just being held. They're just being held and some are going to be traded. Some are going to keep on being bought back, but the large majority of shares are being held, which is why AMC should be going higher. So looking at something else that's very, very interesting is Citadel advisors sell off $408 billion worth of stocks. Citadel is currently liquidating their funds. There are major, major liquidations happening. Um, they're selling um, Amazon stock, Apple stock, Google stock, and many other companies. And that's a big sign for AMC because if they have this much money, there is a possibility that they're liquidating to cover their positions, or they may not be trying to cover their positions right now. They may just try, they may just be selling so that they could, you know, keep on paying the interest that they have to pay off to scare us into selling. So like I said before, every single day, um, they are losing money every day. You have to remember that it costs them money and interest to borrow the shares they have. So because they have so many liabilities, they have lost billions upon billions upon billions of dollars. So they currently are going to have over $400 billion and they may just try to keep this up. But eventually, eventually, if AMC keeps climbing, if it keeps on climbing, they're going to have to buy back their shares. Now, what I want you guys to know is Citadel has lots of ammo, okay? They do not have unlimited ammo. They have lots of ammo, which means when it comes to the AMC share price, it could stay within this range for many months to come. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I know you don't like to hear that. You want AMC to squeeze, and it may actually squeeze this year. So I'm not a taxation expert, but the government, the U.S. government is going to want their capital gains taxes. They want short term capital gains taxes because if they collect taxes in the short term, they're going to make a lot more money. If people hold their AMC shares for over a year, they're going to be subjected to less tax rates. And the U.S. government obviously would not want that because we're not the only ones making money, guys. If we sell shares, the government makes money, too. That's what the government wants. Now, I can't guarantee AMC is going to squeeze in just a couple of months, but I just want you to know that. Citadel has lots of ammo and they're, they're going to do whatever they can to trick you into selling. They are masters of manipulation. They have psychologists on their side, people with PhDs who are using their tactics to scare the apes. And to some small degree, it does work. There are some apes that paper hands, but the large majority of apes out there are not selling and not giving up. So when it comes to my price prediction, I, I also wanted to bring this up. I know you just saw a glimpse of it as I was going around, but before I give on price prediction, look at this. There was a big lawsuit that has been filed by Donahue George, and he filed this against Citadel, against Robinhood, and a bunch of other entities. Now, I'm not a legal advisor or an attorney, so do not take this as legal advice. I'm simply stating the truth that this man right over here, he was a U.S. Marines Corps. He was a member associated with the Certified Fraud Examiners, and he's a member of the Association of Interviewers, and he has worked as a consultant. This man right over here is suing the big big, bad hedge funds and their monopolistic power. So this is going to be a good sign for AMC in the upcoming future. So what I predict is going to happen on Monday, I think there's going to be a bit of a run-up. I think AMC may test the $36 level of resistance. And once it tests that level of resistance in the upcoming future, we may see the exact same thing that happened last week. Another run-up, it may touch the 40 before consolidating. And I think next week, it should close around the 37 maybe $36 range because obviously there's going to be many, many attacks that happen. But I do think that AMC is stair-stepping. I mean, you could clearly see it was at 28. It moved a little bit up to 29, 32 when it closed. Now it's at 34. $34 closing on a Friday is a good sign because they it broke that level of support. So if anything, guys, I think that on Monday, AMC is going to have a run up, I think on Tuesday as well. But I, I won't be surprised if there's another huge attack that happens and AMC drops as low as 32 before bouncing right back up. 
I do think that can happen. I just want you to be prepared. But based off technical analysis, this is forming a tulip. So as the tulip is being formed, AMC, like I said, stair-stepping its way up and we could be seeing another breakout. And I, I would love for there to be a breakout. And based off my data, it looks like there should be a breakout as a large majority of apes are holding as short interest is going up, as the utilization also has been going, it still is high. These numbers aren't always going to go up. They're going to go up and down. But if anything, it's still high. And if it's really hard for hedge funds to get more shares on loan, it's going to be harder for them to hedge their position. If it's harder for them to do that, it's going to be a little bit more tricky for them to bring it down, uh, to do it honestly, okay, to actually take shares that are being loaned out and do it. But they can do it through dark pools. But I'm just telling you guys, it's just a matter of time. They cannot do this forever. They are losing billions of dollars. They're trying to trick us. They're trying to trick you into selling. And my question to you is, are you going to fall for it? My answer is I'm not falling for it. And I I really believe that the large majority of apes are not going to fall for the FUD, for all the tricks that they're playing. I think we're going to win in the long-term future. It's going to take time. But for Monday, I do see a run-up happening. I think AMC will possibly test the $38 range. Um, I do see that happening. I do think... There are going to be more attacks in the future. But I, I, like I said before, technical analysis and the price are not the only thing you should be paying attention to. Just know one simple thing. The hedge funds have not covered. When they cover, they have to buy back what I calculated, 91 million shares as of right now. But this short interest right here can always go up. It could go as high as the 20%, which would mean they'd have to buy over 100 million shares. But as of right now, this is how many they have to buy back, 91 million shares. Not $91 million, 91 million shares, which would literally cost billions upon billions of dollars if they just buy it the way it is now. But if the large majority of apes uh, hold and they see the price go up, and they're not satisfied what's going to happen it's going to keep on going up until people start selling so if anything guys like i said before the conviction is the same the data is the same the the, sh the shorts have not covered so there's still massive upside potential for amc also considering that there are many catalysts coming up in terms of its fundamentals such as it accepting bitcoin or the gme collab and all the other things with warner bros I still see massive, massive potential for AMC. I told you what I think is going to happen, guys. And I just really want to thank you for listening. And I really, really hope you guys have a great rest of the day. With that said and done, enjoy your weekend. And I will see you on Monday.